What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to no comply up and down a ledge. So before you learn how to no comply up a ledge, you want to know how to ollie up the ledge. So make sure you're comfortable just popping an ollie up the ledge. Because uh, the no comply, it's a little more complicated. So at the no comply off of a ledge, I'll have my back foot right over the tail, my front foot over the front bolts. I'll get about like right here and I'll just step off just tap my foot and just barely tap the tail. And then as it's falling down off the ledge, just jump back on. With the no comply up the ledge, it's the same foot position. I've just got my back foot on the tail, front foot right behind the front bolts. And I'll get about a foot away, pop, push with my back foot, just slam the board into the ledge and then jump off the front foot and get up on there. I really like doing no complies. These aren't the best no complies, but they're still fun. Uh, it's something that I'm not really good at. I can do like the backside 360 no complies and then no comply shoves pretty good. But no complying up and down stuff is not really my forte, but I still have a lot of fun doing it. It just, it feels so good and stylish to just do a little quick no comply, just tap your foot coming off of a ledge. It just feels better than ollieing off of it sometimes. It's one of those tricks that's really cool, but it just kind of goes in and out of fashion. Anybody that follows this page got this? You just drop in right here, roll down that, roll down the other one, ollie off the edge, or we've got this nice double set here. It's only like 30 feet down. These, I would really like to skate some of these things. I used to skate these benches, but some of these little tables used to do manuals on. Uh, that might be a good spot. It's really loud over there, so I'm gonna explain this stuff over here. It's actually really loud over there too, though. So the tail, as soon as it hits the ledge, it evens the board out. If it misses the ledge, then you know you could run the risk of landing with the board in between your legs. You don't want it to be sh straight up and just like land on the board like that. So you want to push it with your back foot into the ledge, let it hit that, and then as it hits that, it'll flatten out and land on the ledge. One thing, one thing that has really helped me in this video is I've got these really soft Richta Cloud wheels and they just roll over anything. This ground is really rough up here uh, but they're just doing a great job at rolling over all the little pebbles. There's like three different loud noises. There's a helicopter, there's a train, and then there's a police siren all going on at the same time every time I turn this camera on. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.